Hi, this is Kevin's European Garage, and today we're going to start repairing this broken, or actually not broken, but uh, deteriorating wiring harness on this 2013 Cayenne. So you can see here that the harness is starting to come apart. It's mainly just the uh, the loom that's the problem, but if left unfixed, this could uh, start wearing, the wires can start wearing, and then you can start having electrical problems. As you can see, I already repaired a section that had fallen apart before, and now I had to take the engine apart to do a PCV valve on it. So now, uh, now is the time I get to repair the rest of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull off these couple clips over here, and I'm gonna reloom this over here with some new, with, uh, with new loom I got. And uh, you can see over here that this one is also falling apart too. And I think it has to do with a lot of, uh, you know, with heat from the engine. And also, this portion over here was covered in oil from people doing oil changes. You know, this harness runs right next to the oil fill. And it goes like that. So, this is where so it goes like that. So, if you had some people who weren't doing really good oil changes as far as, you know, not spilling it all over the place, it gets on the loom, the loom starts to deteriorate, the heat, and before you know it, this is what you got. And uh, you have to be careful because eventually, you let it go, it'll start, it'll start wearing through on the valve cover. And also, this one over here started to wear through just slightly over here because this thing gets pulled tight. It gets pulled tight over here as it's connected. So uh, we're gonna uh, pull this apart. Uh, repair it and then so first off let's get this wire harness reattached and the reason why I'm connecting everything back up is it just makes it easier because I'm gonna have to take off these caps over here and without it connected up then the wires are gonna be all over the place and I want it to line back up easily so that's why we're gonna do it with this thing back in place or the coil pack connectors back on So now to take it apart, you need a small screwdriver and you get this little clip over here. So we're gonna pop this out on this side. Do the clip, slide this back. Do the same for the back one over here. So now I got these two clips off. Now let's pull this harness out. It's in there pretty tight. And then you hear a look over here. You see this is what's left of the loom. I'm missing whole sections. So I previously put this on because it was deteriorating from the whole section all the way forward. So it's just gonna take this thing off and now I'm gonna put on one solid straight piece. Just you look over the wiring harness to make sure there's nothing damaged on it. You can see that it's got all the oil on it. Let's just do our best to wipe that off so it doesn't start to eat away at everything else again. If you clean everything off, I suggest wrapping it up with some electrical tape to kind of keep the strands together while you're putting on the new loom. Okay, so I'm going to say you got some new loom. I'm going to put it on. This one is slightly bigger than the factory, but that's okay. So now you can check for this when you're doing an oil change. What you're gonna do is if you're doing an oil change and you got the little front cover that's over here, pull that cover off. And then you'll be able to see the harness over there and you can kind of check what kind of condition it's in. Hopefully it's better the condition than this was. This one isn't quite as bad. So we're just gonna kind of fix this one little section over here. 
and keep this intact a little bit. But this one over here, we're actually, I'm gonna cut out the bad section. Again, take a look, inspect the wires. Make sure you don't have anything that's damaged on here. This one looks like it's just fine. So we'll just install a new section of loom, covering over the ends. Okay, you can see now I got the the, uh, the wire loom on this one. So what we ended up doing is just I cut out the section that was bad, put it over the middle, and just kind of use the ends to make it all tidy up and make it look nice. So now we're just going to put these back on. So I'm going to put these clips back in. So going forward, I just got to make sure that I'm more careful when I'm doing my oil changes on this thing. So that's the repair of the uh, harness. So when you do your oil change, just double check it to make sure that, uh, you know, you're not having this problem. Unfortunately, the fix isn't exactly easy where you got to pull off the, uh, the intake manifold. So this is Kevin's European Garage. Please subscribe. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll you know, hopefully have some more videos soon.